if you have a form inside of Google and you want to transfer it to another person, but they don't have the same domain name as you, here's a workaround. So I have a video and I'm going to link it below to show you how to transfer it to somebody if they do have the same domain. But in the event that they don't have the same domain as you, what you want to do is share the person edit access and then allow them to make a copy. So let's go through that. So first step is you want to go up to the three dots in the far right corner. Then you're going to add collaborators. We're just gonna go ahead and add in that person uh, that we want to add as a collaborator or editor and just ensure that they have editor access. So once you do that and you share it with them, you'll see now if you go back to add collaborators that that person is an editor. On the person's account, they will then uh, get access to that same exact form. Once the individual is in their account, what they can do, since they have backend access to edit in that form, they can go and hit more. And then if they want to add collaborators, you could see that they're not the owner. That's totally fine. But what they can do here is file, make a copy. And then now they have that same exact form with all the details in it inside of their own drive. So there, they will have a copy of all the questions, the intake of uh, fields and everything from that form. Unfortunately, whatever data that was in the original form won't carry over, but if it is something that you wanna use and just have a different owner for it, or they wanna use the form, this is a good work around allowing someone else to now kind of quote unquote have ownership. They won't own the original form, but they will have the new form. If you do want them to access the data, the best thing to do is click on responses, link to a sheet and then linking that information to either a new spreadsheet or an existing spreadsheet that the new form owner will have access to. So that way they could still have the backend data, even though they won't have it on the form itself, they'll have it through the spreadsheet. Hope this was helpful. If you have any additional questions or you need support executing this, reach out to us at gsdsolutionsinc.com. Uh, thank you and look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Have a good one.